Denver police are looking for the driver of an SUV believed to be involved in two hit and runs that happened near 6th and Federal. And one of those killed a family's beloved pet. Denver 7's Lance Hernandez talked to this heartbroken owner. I've been on and off crying all day, honestly. Just because I've spent the most time with her. An emotional day for Randy Govan, whose beloved angel, a boxer terrier mix, was run over and killed Wednesday night. Security cam video shows her two-year-old son opening the gate. Angel sneaks out. They both run down the sidewalk, her boyfriend sprinting after them. You see the SUV drive by. We're not showing the moment of impact. Angel yelped in pain and later died. Neighbors say the driver struck a park van just before hitting the dog and kept driving. This is part of the wheel well left behind. So I was just like, it's the toughest on me because I would take her out all the time in the walks. Gavin has been combing through videos of Angel all day long, remembering the good times. It really hurt us because she was just, she didn't have a mean bone in her body. My dog Bodie loved playing with Angel. Angel was so full of, of energy and just the sweetest dog. Neighbor Tracy Collins says whoever hit the van and killed Angel should step forward. I'm sure it would be really hard for the person to come forward and take responsibility for that, but it's definitely the right thing to do. Neighbors believe this video from a home up the block shows the SUV before the crash. Police are trying to determine if it's the same one. This morning, a neighbor out for a walk spotted this abandoned vehicle in Martinez Park. There's damage to the front fenders, evidence the airbag deployed, and as you can see, it's missing a wheel well. Denver PD trying to determine if there's a connection between this SUV and the hit and runs. Lance Hernandez, Denver 7. That's terrible. And both the parked van and the dog are considered property. And police say the driver should have stopped and tried to make contact with the owners. If you know anything about this case, you are asked to contact Denver police. All right.